Hey there, and welcome to the Web Graphics Creator. I wanted to make this really quick video to show you exactly what this page is going to do for you and how to use it. Of course, the first thing you're going to notice are the little thumbnail icons. Now, each icon uh, represents a category. So, for example, clicking here will take you to the people graphics. Clicking here, you'll see the social media graphics and templates, okay? That's the idea. Now, the first time you log into the app with your computer, you're going to get a dialogue asking you to log in again. Now this will only happen the first time you use this app on a computer. Okay, so logging in uh, will then present the templates to you, okay? Now that's only going to happen once the first time you use the app on a computer. So, and each feature time you won't have to log in again. So there's the first thing I wanted to tell you. Now the second thing is that each of the uh, categories has a little tiny question mark here and when you click on it you're going to get a really quick how to use uh, that particular template set. So for this one this is the text effects. When you click on it you're going to get a really quick video showing you how to use that particular tem template set. Okay so there's the video and then when you're done watching the video, uh, um, the how to video, you can continue on to the template set by clicking this orange button and then the text effects will load for you. Okay, so far so good. Okay, the other thing I wanted to show you is uh, when you click on a template set, the window pops up um, showing you the, the templates. Now, if you resize your browser or if you have a small browser or a big browser window, the templates conform to the size of your browser. So that's pretty handy to have uh, on different size monitors and the cool thing is this little icon up here will expand this template set to full screen. So now you can see all of the templates all at once and clicking on one of the templates it's this huge canvas um, that you can make bigger if you have a lot and I happen to have a pretty big monitor so um, but this works on laptops you know and then when you're done at full screen, you can click on the little uh, minimize arrow and it goes back to the normal size. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, here's something that's gonna be a little bit different. Um, if you're used to the Creator 7 or, and or the logo creator, changing text is a little bit different. So for the web graphics creator, you're gonna click on the text and you can use these little handles to expand the text and you can rotate the text and you can stretch the text and you can squish the text <laughs> okay so that's pretty handy so once you've sized your text you can now go over here to the um, format button over here and you can increase decrease the spacing of the text that kind of thing and here's something really cool when you hold the shift key down on your computer I'm holding the shift key down and I roll my mouse over the middle handles, you'll see that the arrow changes a little bit. So this allows me to click holding the shift key down and I can make italicized text if I wanted to. So that's pretty cool. Okay, enough chit chat. I know you want to get to creating, so have fun with it. And if you have any questions, you can click on the uh, support question down below and uh, we'll be there for you. <laughs> All right, have fun.